Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple handhold for your bee boxes. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the height of my 7 8 wide dado blade to uh, 5 8 of an inch. Doesn't need to be super accurate. The next thing I'm going to do here is I want to adjust the fence to within three inches of the far edge of the blade there. Okay, you can see here that I have a little note and it says 17 and a half inches for the ends and 21 inches for the sides. I'll explain that in just a second. Okay, so 17 and a half inches for the ends is where I'm going to start. The first thing I want to do is I want to locate the center of my dado blade and I could cheat by just coming up with half of this uh, this opening here and so it's four and three quarters so that's two and three eighths will be the center that'll be the center and then if I come up with half a seventeen and a half that's uh, eight and three quarters so I'll come out here eight three quarters of an inch on my table saw, I'm going to take a piece, a little piece of tape, eight and three quarters, make a mark here with some tape. I'll do the same thing on the opposite side, 17 and a half. Okay, so now I have this tape placed here on here at 17 and a half inches apart. Uh, this space here is three inches from this fence. And so I'll show you how we cut these cut these handholds for our end pieces. Now the end pieces are the ones that with the with the rabbit in them, um, and make sure that your rabbit is facing up, and that this rabbit is against the fence when you're making these first handholds. The trick here is really important to be uh, confident in what you're doing and have a firm grip it could get away from you and cause an accident. So I'm going to fire up the table saw, very carefully break this against here, keeping this firmly on the table at my mark, and I'm going to make a plunge cut. I'm going to run that plunge cut till I get to the tape, and I'm going to lift it. Now I have a handhold. So how this is going to go is, is that you're going to hold this board firmly against the fence. You're going to hold this end against the, uh, against the table so that it can't pivot. Firmly down and firmly against the fence. Then you'll make a plunge cut into the saw and then go up the saw until your other, this end is on the tape. And then you're going to lift off this side. So you're going to it's kind of a rotate through that. You'll end up with a, a nice little handhold for your box. We'll do the, uh, the 21 inches is for the, for the longer uh, sides of the box. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.